Hey guys, Gerga here. Today I'm exploring how to blend two completely different form languages together in Visco. And so my plan is to create some sort of form study or sketch some volume exploration. And then I want to influence a concept car by that volume exploration. So first of all, I'm just going to sketch, the, uh, sketch my little speak form. So this is just some uh, sci-fi inspired speed form, let's say. And then I'm going to prompt in the volume render mode uh, that is just an object. Nothing special, but you can create any kind of aesthetic out of this speed form. The main goal here is to just get a pure shape like this out of this speed form to have a sense of volume that we can work with later. But you can do it in the Viscom general mode. And let's actually say aluminum object because that can give give us a very nice um, surface quality. Okay, we generated one with 100% influence. If we want a touch nicer uh, surfaces, perhaps we can lower the influence a little bit more. And let's see if it can create something which is a bit more clean around the edges. Okay, this will actually be nice for me. And in the refine mode, I can just uh, color pick this I can just use the color picker by hitting Alt or Option on the key. Just get rid of this little thing, and also I wanna, I want to clean up this area like that, this back part, to have like a very clean shape for us. And in the refine mode, I just generate one with the standard 50% influence to make these changes implemented. And so if you got a clear shape. Then we can go back to render mode and use the Viscom general, uh, Viscom general mode. And then we can now start blending our aesthetic. Uh, let's create a, um, a silver vehicle concept, silver vehicle concept by Mercedes. And so the form languages, uh, the form language of Mercedes Benz and this speed form together will create something very interesting, hopefully. So I just generate one with full influence meaning that it is sticking to my exact shape, just like this, and just slightly tries to uh, give it some mercedes benz design DNA, which is a very nice thing. Uh, here is that little add as layer. I'm adding it as a hidden layer now. And I just start uh, decreasing the drawing influence, and I try to find a sweet spot where I can get some very creative ideas around this uh, blending of these two aesthetic, basically. So this is at like 90%. It actually created some interesting winglets at the back, but I can go go lower to 80. Okay, wow, here I got a very interesting surface language and, and these materials. This 80% seems to be a nice spot, so I just regenerate one here. Okay, this surface language got like much, much softer than what we had before. Uh, let's try at 70% again. Yeah, like that. And so eventually we are going to uh, reach to a point when we are going so low with the drawing influence scale, uh, then it will become too much of a traditional Mercedes. And and so we can like then increase back the drawing influence. So this is a very interesting shape as well. Let's get as low as like 50%, let's say. Okay, and this is the percentage at this exact point where we arrive at the stage where it really just tries to transform it and see the car inside this little creation. And this is where we lost that blending capability, basically, because it tries to create something which is inspired by our lines and form language, but the drawing influence is too low to allow it to stick to our package. So from 60 to 100, it can cr uh, create uh, some very interesting and inspiring ideas, uh, like sci-fi vehicle concepts, basically. This way we can force uh, Viscom uh, to be very creative with our package. And of course, we can refine these ideas if we want to, just by creating a new layer and maybe having these elements uh, in a different color. Just lowering the opacity a bit. And I'm telling it that with black, or black arrow parts at the bottom. Refine mode 
Yeah, just like that. So this would be my little um, design tip for today with Viscom. That feel free to create these uh, more extreme and abstract shape explorations. And then after you created a puristic shape, you can start blending it with a certain design DNA, for example, in this case, Mercedes, and just gradually playing around with the drawing influence scale to see which which part of the scale is fitting your expectations the best. But it's just a very nice way to spark your imaginations and come up with very creative uh, solutions. So thanks for watching. And I always love to see what you're creating with Viscom. So always feel free to share. See ya.